Another perfect dinner shift. You can leave early tonight. You've earned it. Oh, thanks. Excuse me, young man. Before you leave, may I speak to you for a moment? Who, me? Yes, I just need a moment of your time. Please, have a seat. Do you have a complaint about the food? No, quite the opposite, actually. I've been watching you for a few weeks now, and I have to say I'm very impressed with the work you've been doing here. Oh, thank you. Yes, well, the reason I wanted to talk to you is because I have an opportunity for you that would allow you to use your special set of skills for something bigger. Oh, well, I appreciate it, but I don't think I could leave this place. You see, I figure there's no shame in doing a small job extremely well. Oh, shut up. Wait, what? No, I mean, yes, that's very noble of you. But you see, this opportunity is different. I think you could help a lot of people. How could I help people? I'm just a regular, everyday radioactive line cook. I understand this is confusing, but I can't say anything else here. Please take my card and stop by this address later tonight. I'll explain everything to you there. I hope to see you. Hmm. Help people. Well, I guess this is the place. Ah, you came. Excellent. Please, come inside. Welcome to my laboratory. Well, this place is nuts. What are you waiting for? Get in the transportation pod. Wait a minute. This isn't gonna get, like, weird, is it? Maybe. No, it's not gonna get weird. Just get in the damn pod. You're wasting time. So, where exactly are you taking me? I'd like to introduce you to my mechanic. Hey, my name's Lotus Raven. And don't even think about you and I falling in love with each other, because it's never going to friggin' happen. Me? Yeah, you're never going to break down my heart and shell and make me fall in love with you, so get that idea out of your friggin' head. I never thought that or wanted it, so... Well, good, because it's never going to friggin' happen. What the hell was that? Oh, don't worry about Lotus Raven. She's just had her defenses up ever since her parents were murdered by line cooks. Oh my god, really? What, did they like shoot them or something? No, they undercooked their chicken. The salmonella was unbelievable. They had diarrhea for a week until eventually they diarrheaed out their entire skeleton. Oh my god. Yes, it was a terrible thing for a four-year-old to watch. Anyways, welcome to my personal office. The reason why I brought you here is because the crime in our city has gotten out of control, and I think that you could stop it. I don't understand. How can I help? I don't even know how to fight. Ah, uh, yes. That's why I designed you these. Whoa, what is this? These are specially designed virtual reality goggles. When you put these on, it will allow you to see people as food, which will allow you to use your radioactive line cook powers. Go ahead and try them on. Whoa. Well, are they working? I think so. You kind of look like a carrot already, but no, I think they're working. This is crazy. Yes, I also designed this sword for you. It's synced up to the goggles, so while everyone else sees a sword, all you will see is your cooking utensil. I don't know about this. A guy getting bit by a radioactive line cook, and then putting on virtual reality goggles and going out and fighting crime? The whole concept just sounds... really stupid. Yes, well, try not to think about that too much. Okay, so what do I do now? Head to the city. 
find trouble and help people. Lettuce for sale! Hey lady, give us all your lettuce. Oh dear. Hey, leave her alone. And who are you supposed to be? Well, you can call me Super Powered Restaurant Employee Man. Actually? Why, is that bad? Do you need me to tell you it's bad? I guess not. Okay, well then how about... Radioactive Line Cook. Ugh. <sighs>